how many of you guys have gone into a bike shop, thrown your leg over a bike, and have done ye old stand over tests to figure out whether the bike fits or not? In this video, I'm going to talk about why stand over is important, but oftentimes unreliable to get a good fit air quotes. So what is standover and why is it so important? It's pretty simple. It's usually a measurement from the ground to the tallest part of the top tube. And the thinking is that when you straddle the bike, you want to have some clearance. And at first, this makes perfect sense. No one likes getting punched in the crotch. And, and this is definitely an important consideration for younger riders who don't have coordination and even older riders that are losing mobility. You definitely want to be able to swing your leg uh, over the bike. So while it makes sense, it is problematic. Uh, in my own personal experience, I'm 5'8", 29 inch inseam, and I have typically shorter legs than average for my height. So what that means is when I size a bike, uh, considering only standover, I end up with a bike that is generally too small. This is a pretty good example of what happens you know, decent amount of the seat posts. I like to get my bars level, if not a little bit taller, and I end up having to run like a gang of spacers, mostly because most bikes uh, prioritize that slammed look. They make the head tubes really small, and, and therefore the resulting stack isn't that great. But if you ride more casually and like your bars even, it can be a challenge. Another thing that results from this is the bike can also feel a little bit cramped. There's a lot of fudging with the stem length and adding spacers to get it to just feel right when I'm riding the bike. So as you can see, when I'm standing over the bike, I can stand perfectly flat footed and there's a lot of clearance. I can lift the bike up about an inch. This is like the typical rule of thumb. But here's the thing, how often are you on the bike like this? I've tested about 80 bikes on the channel. It's always a, a bit of a guessing game in terms of the size. And every time I've prioritized standover in selecting which bike to test, the bike ends up feeling a little bit cramped when I'm actually riding the bike. So to me, it makes no sense to optimize the fit uh, of the bike for this this stance. You should really be optimizing for when you're riding the bike. This is an example of a bike where I've sized up sacrificing standover. When I stand over this bike, it does touch my crotch, but it is a better fit when I'm actually riding the bike, which, which is like the most important aspect, right? If you're gonna choose between optimizing for standing over the bike or riding the bike, it makes sense that you should optimize for riding the bike. You can see here, still a decent amount of seat posts. I'm still adjusting the bar height, so excuse uh, the extra spacers on the top here, but you can see a lot more reasonable amount of spacers here. And when I ride the bike, it doesn't feel so cramped and compact. So I know what you're thinking, what do you do then when you're at a stoplight? I think like many of you, when I come to a stop, I'm in this kind of position. I've got a foot on the pedal, my crotch is off to the side, and you can see that the standover height isn't as big of a deal. Again, I do want to stress that it really depends on your body dimensions and your mobility. Some people, young children, older folks that are losing mobility, or people that have injuries, you know, this, this may be hard in which case and definitely look at frames that have a compact geometry or where the top tube slants something like a mountain bike or, or something like a step through frame one other thing to keep in mind is also how you're riding you know sizing up optimizing for the riding position works best on road bikes and gravel bikes or when you're riding in terrain where it's not super technical and you don't have to dab a foot. If, however, you are mountain biking and there's a good chance that you're gonna have to put a foot down or things are really sketchy, then definitely standover becomes more important. But typically bikes that are ridden in those situations have a more aggressively sloping top tube. So think of modern mountain bikes, BMX bikes, and step through frames. Again, I wanna stress that this isn't all you need to do a bike fit. Definitely see a professional bike fitter for that. But I do challenge you to rethink standover. If you find yourselves feeling too cramped, uh, definitely consider sizing up. You know, throw a leg over it, uh, stand as you would at a stop sign, probably at an angle like this. Be, and you might be pleasantly surprised to find that you can ride a larger frame and still feel pretty comfortable. Oh, one quick thing to note. Um, there's a fear that if you size up, that the bike is gonna to be too long. And what's interesting is when you look at geometry charts, oftentimes the bikes get taller, i.e. the stack increases at a much faster rate than the reach increases. So it could be the case that when you size up, uh, you get more stack height, so, you can, so it's easier to get the bars up higher. And the overall reach only increases by one centimeter as opposed to the stack height increasing by two centimeters. And that one centimeter difference is totally fixable uh, 
but by swapping out the stem. Whereas I think it's a bigger challenge to increase the stack height. If you guys found this video helpful or entertaining, please consider supporting the channel by buying some stickers or our brand new shirts. Uh, and as always, everybody keep the supple side down.